the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. In the presence of the chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, and Deputy Chairman of the Club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club organized the 19th horse race meeting of the season at Rafah in Sakhir. It was held for the Cups of the National Bank of Bahrain and the University of Bahrain. Also present were Sheikh Sultan al Din bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah bin Isa al Khalifa and a representative of the sponsoring firms. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners.
The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI 2018 elections, are being held today at the Isa Cultural Center. More on this report with Shoga Mohammed. The Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry is the oldest chamber of commerce in the region and has been consistently developing over the years. Its role has increased and advanced in accordance with the uprising and growth of new and various economic sectors and their contribution to the structure of the national economy. The national and pioneering role of the BCCI is achieved through its board of directors, being elected by the commercial streets and through its specialized arms as a symbol of its sectorial committees representing different economic sectors under the wide umbrella of the broad private sector in the country. The BCCI is a symbol of democracy in Bahrain since its inception in 1939. It has been always by election and never it was appointed. The board of directors was never appointed by any other uh, source. So this uh, reflects the uh, kingdom's uh, presence in democracy and it would help definitely the uh, uh, private sector. Unlike the previous elections, the 2018 BCCI election is the most unpredictable as the number of potential voters have risen more than five-fold. The number of people who are eligible to vote in this year's election is close to 60,000 compared to the 11,000 voters in the last term. The good thing about today is that we're witnessing the smooth elections system that is led by the volunteers, which is actually the youth volunteers with the experts of this country, as well as the healthy competitions on the election. We're very honored and proud of all the, uh, the, the businessmen, small, medium, large, uh, coming here to, to shape the econom economy of Bahrain. Um, I'm very glad that everybody is here to, to, to join. And what we're looking for is a very strong uh, BCCI um, board that can shape the economy of Bahrain. The first time I can see in all these years, that there is a big turnout of the merchants for vote, first thing. Second thing, all these people need one thing. They need a change. The change from what has been going on for the last 25 years, is a time that they should change. The new board that will be elected is expected to be from diverse business backgrounds, with experts from all fields being represented businessmen and women with backgrounds in medicine, engineering, agriculture and more are candidates for election and are all hoping to bring further change and progress to the BCCI. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shok Mohammed. A very good evening. You're watching the Business News in Bahrain International with me, Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Bahrain All Share Index has closed this week with 11,693,722 shares, where 3,076,891 Bahraini dinars conducted through 321 transactions. Investors traded in 23 companies. Six companies witnessed a rise in shares, eight fell and the rest maintained their shares. The commercial banks was the leading sector and the investment sector came in second. <laughs> 